welcome to magic stairway today we are going to learn about surface tension here we'll explain surface tension in a very simple way by the way where are kids i think they have started something without us let's see what they are doing what are you guys doing this is water with food coloring and what are you guys making? Drops. This, look at mine, it's very cute. It's um, a circle. How is all of them always circled? And also we can connect them with these little toothpicks. And combine smaller circles to bigger circles. Then it will be, be even bigger. Mm. <laughs> Do you know why water has this cute little shapes? No. It's because of surface tension. We'll explain surface tension using some animations. Yay! Surface tension is a property of liquids and water has high surface tension. So let's take the case of water. Water molecules love other water molecules. Each water molecule always try to make friends with other molecules mm, through hydrogen bonds. So in this uh, picture you can see that molecules inside the water have lots of friends. In fact, they have more friends compared to the molecules on the surface of the water. The molecules on the surface of the water have air above them. They don't like them as much as water. They cannot form hydrogen bonds with them and they don't like them. They prefer water over air. So what happens? So molecules on the surface of the water will form strong bonds with its neighbors on the sides and below. This is an unbalanced force. Uh, actually, what does it mean? It means that they will be pulled more towards side, sideways and inside. So this force is called as surface tension. Surface tension is a property of all liquids. Water has amazing surface tension. Hmm. What about other liquids? We should test it out. What are the other liquids that you know? So the other liquids are sparkling water, oil. Yeah. What else milk, can we try? Hmm. And chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Not chocolate, like the eating chocolate. How about chocolate syrup and maple syrup? Yes. Can we try with some of them how the surface tension? Yes. Okay. okay so we also have rubbing alcohol. I have added, rub I have taken rubbing alcohol, which I use it for cleaning. Okay. I smell different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Water, oil, rubbing alcohol, and like you said, some sparkling water. Do you want to try making drops with these? Yes! Okay. First, let's try water. Can you put the soil now? Okay. So I'm going to just make one by one. <laughs> Not on top. Can you put it on the side and see whether oil has this shape? Yeah, it has a little thing. Little bit, right? Not as much as water, right? Yeah. Now let's try this one. Yeah, I want to try oil. Oh my, what will happen to the pink one? When, so let's put it on here. Oh, that is rubbing alcohol. So does it have a cute dome shape, Ammo? No, it always goes squiggly and stuff. Okay. Now let's try the sparkling water. Okay. Uh, can you pass me this? Sorry. I don't think sparkling yeah. water looks like a lot like, like Oh, it has a good surface tension. Did you see that? It's like water. Because it is water. Can I have that? Oh, sparkling water is just like water. Yeah. So it has good surface tension, right? Yeah. What about the regular water? I'm going to just put it here. The regular water is blue, but oh, this we already learned about it. And it has tons of surface tension. So now we know that water has very high surface tension and oil has a little bit less surface tension. 
and what about rubbing alcohol it doesn't have any surface tension at all or it's very low when you mix rubbing alcohol with water water uh, surface tension of water is also reduced now let's see how much water can a penny hold do you want to try yeah So do you think this penny can hold more water? No. See, do you think? No. Mm. Oh my god, it's going to fall down. Wait and watch. Wait and watch. Look. Can I try this one? Yeah. We tried balancing water on a penny and we are surprised that how much water a penny can hold. Now, let's learn about surfactants using a colorful milk experiment. First, take some milk in a shallow plate or bowl. Now, add 2 to 3 drops of food coloring in different places you can use different different colors When it's little, it 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 won't show, but when you press it, it will. There. And now close the cap, Nidhi. Now add a tiny drop of dish soap and see what happens. Wow! Take a look at mine. Oh, look at mine. Yeah. Just the yeah. Wow. Can you touch an some other part? Wow! Look at this. Yeah. There's a scroll coming. What is surfactant? A surfactant is a substance that reduces the surface tension. So detergent etc. are surfactants. We have seen advertisements of soap saying that uh, it will clean dirty dishes. But that's because soap cuts through grease and fat and it spreads everywhere and it reduces the surface tension. So now let's see what is happening in our milk experiment. When first you add drops of food coloring to milk, it will stay undisturbed because of because of high surface tension. So now when you add a drop of dish soap to the milk the surface tension of milk is drastically reduced now fat and protein particles in the milk can move freely and everywhere so now the uh, food coloring drops that you have added it also moves along with it and now it create colorful swirls so today we did lot of fun little experiments related to surface tension and surfactant hope you enjoyed our video Follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. So, see you next week with another experiment. Uh, so, stay tuned. Until then, 